Hello there, back with a Glossier Sunday episode. It's been a long time. This was a regular series when I started my channel nearly five years ago, but I haven't featured the brand often in the last couple of years. I feel like Glossier's grip on the top shelves, makeup bags, and minds of millennials gradually started to slip with other great minimal makeup brands growing. Still no international shipping years later, and other issues emerged. Diversity, shade ranges, layoffs, the CEO stepped down recently, add in no access to the brand during the pandemic, so I took a break from the series for two years. A lot has happened in that time. Olivia Rodrigo, for one, was not on our Spotify playlists and now she's the brand's ambassador. Glossier doesn't have quite the same stranglehold on me anymore, but there have been some changes and the brand got back in touch to catch me up on what they've been working on, including the latest launch, Number One Pencil. Early fans might remember Glossier's Black Tie set, a 2016 holiday launch with their clear gloss, moonstone haloscope, pink nail polish, and the number one pencil in graphite, a limited edition liner that never existed outside that set, but was later revisited in the brand's sister line, Glossier Play, in 2019. The colour slide liners were one of my favourite products full stop at that time, but sadly they were quietly discontinued in January 2021. Now, in July 2022, Olivia Rodrigo just played Glastonbury and she's the face of the new colour slide cousin that references the original black tie set liner, number one pencil. It comes in 10 shades, I have nine here. We'll talk through the formula and some shade comparisons if you're still not over colour slide. Number one pencil is described as a perfect glide eyeliner. Long wearing, rich, buildable, water resistant, vegan and cruelty free. The brand says it's soft but not too soft with crisp colour that doesn't skip, tug or transfer. In terms of feel, number one pencil seems slightly softer than Color Slide, smoother and creamier like a really soft coal. Let's talk through some pros and cons. Some creaminess pros. One, you don't have to apply much pressure. The softest brush against the skin works. Two, it does not tug on my skin at all. I have hooded eyes that can be tricky to line, but I don't have to hold my skin taut or press down with these. Three, Creamy can be a good thing if you're not that confident with eyeliner. I can still get really nice results layering soft, small strokes. Creaminess con, if you're heavier handed because you know how to nail your wing, I have seen some people say it's too soft for them, doesn't hold enough of a point for intricate designs and needs sharpening every time. Sharpening con, there isn't one. A sharpener isn't included or built in, so you'll need a reasonable sharpener to break through the outer casing. The original black tie set number one pencil was a twist up with a sharpener in the base and a little smudging sponge, so I probably prefer that format. Wear Time Pro, it does not budge. I have quite watery eyes that are bound to smudge the outer corners of a wing, but these stay put. Wear Time Con, if you want to smoke them out, you have to do it quite quickly before they set. The brand does say there's just enough dry down time to blend. Wear Time Con, that's sort of a side effect of the pro, you'll need a good makeup remover to take these off. I love biphase formulas, they're very effective but gentle, like Chanel, La Roche-Posay, and Glossier Milky Oil does a good job too. Pigment Pro, there's a lot of it. No dragging to get good colour payoff and all of the shades apply evenly. Color Con, not as much of a shade range as Color Slide yet, and these are all mattes. Some of the best Color Slides had a touch of shimmer to open up your inner corners or add a bit of interest along the lash line. Not the case here. Time for the swatches. Nine out of 10 shades inspired by the archives of art history. Always enjoy an art reference in makeup, so let's meet them. Kiln is called a rustic orange. If you're new here, hello, I love orange on the eyes. Color Slide Jumbo comparison coming right up. This is a terrific terracotta, soft enough to sneak along the lash line subtly or layer it. Ochre is described as dandelion yellow. I must admit, little intimidated by yellow in the colorful liner world, but Glossier have made a good case for a toasted sunflower here. I hope it gets a pastel sister one day for spring. Patina is called light grey blue, but I'm going to say muted mint or subdued sea foam maybe. I just see more light green in this than grey or blue, and it's one of the shades I'm most excited about. Go on, give minimal mint liner a go. Fresco is described as dark forest green. I loved green and khaki liners years ago. It's a nice way to revisit that. I've been in a big green mood lately, particularly in nail polish, so let me know if you've found a fresco green. Lapis is called dark denim blue. If black eyeliner ever feels too stark or heavy on you, a deep sea green like this could be a good backup. If you follow creators who nail editorial or simple colorful liner looks, by the way, please share them below. 
Muse is described as soft lavender, the hero shade, hence my nail choice, and the as seen on Olivia Rodrigo in the campaign colour. As far as lilac or light lavender liners go, this is a beauty, really even, creamy and consistent. Canvas is a pure white, chic, black and white liner designs ahead, you could use it as an inner corner or waterline highlight, and Olivia Rodrigo wore this to the Met Gala underneath purple products to make them pop. Frame is called Neutral Brown, a nice mid-chocolate, just a great, reliable, backup singer sort of brown. It's not going to take away from the main event of your eye look, but it's a smooth, supporting character you can count on. Ink finishes off the list as a rich black, a true midnight matte, liquid liner-like shade of black. If you're a cat eye queen, this glides on. I personally preferred the slight charcoal shimmer of the original number one though, coming up shortly. A few new value sets launched alongside these. If a handful of colours catch your eye, there's a number one pencil trio option. The new line and lash duo lets you choose your preferred number one pencil and pair it with lash slick, natural looking lengthening mascara. And in the colour all over set, you pick a number one pencil, cloud paint liquid blush and ultra lip balmy tint colour comparisons. This was a lot of fun grouping the previous generation of colour slides with the new number ones. Opening with orange, here's Rustic Kiln next to the colour slides Jumbo, Ginger Orange, Pretty Penny, Metallic Copper and Satin Return, a Metallic Burgundy. Two spot-on yellow and mint matches, Dandelion Ochre is definitely a descendant of Colour Slide Nectar, and Light Grey Blue slash Seafoam Patina and Colour Slide Early Girl are certainly similar. Greens and Blues, Forest Fresco next to Colour Slide Hardcore Velvet, a deep teal looking a little worse for wear and dry, Dark Denim Lapis is actually closer to Hardcore Velvet than Adult Swim, a deep navy. A pretty purple trio with soft lavender muse, colour slide in critical mass magenta, and magic carpet, a metallic jam. And the deepest shades, neutral brown frame and colour slide brack, can barely tell the difference, and rich black ink with the original number one pencil graphite, a slightly softer black or deep shimmery charcoal. Very interested to hear what you think. Is there space for the number one pencils in your makeup bag? Do these colours spark your creativity? Do you have plenty of great creamy liners already? If so, leave them in the comments. Do you just wish they kept Colour Slide around? I really like this formula, but I do hope we see more shades to match the personality of Colour Slide. Rococo is the only one I'm missing. A deep eggplant or aubergine I'll absolutely grab next time a friend is in the US. I haven't tested any mail forwarding services since Shopmate shut. I was kindly sent some other Glossier launches to catch up on, so let me know what you'd like to see next and leave your liner thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.